good morning this is Candace here so I went to the Dollar Tree today is Sunday like what else would I be doing so I went to the Dollar Tree to get my inserts wait before I go any further make sure you like this video and make sure you subscribe okay so before I went to the um before I when I left the Dollar Tree um my insert page it comes like this it was kind of raggedy like it was ripped up and everything so i looked in behind looked inside and lo and behold there was no inserts in there so i'm like what is going on <clears throat> so i looked in the other ones i had because i got three and they lo and behold there were inserts in there there were four there were one PNG. This is the one we get the last Sunday of every single month. This is the one. This is the one that has the ties, the shampoo, um, the mouthwash, the Febreze, and stuff like the razors and things like that. So, um, we had these. Red plum PNG, of course. We had a red plum. I guess it's football season. So that we had that. I mean, at the top is going to be a little um football because inside they should give you deals like football deals. Like there's butter and mayonnaise and suave. And dub and um caress and Vaseline and that's net red plum so how are you guys doing today doing good I mean it's a little rainy here oh they have um, DiGiorno pizza. Red Baron is actually my favorite pizza. Not DiGiorno. They have some chips, some eggs, some Rice Krispies. Some Drake's. And then they also have... Family dollar coupons. I have a five for twenty-five right there. So let's look into the smart sword. Oh, my favorite Halo. They only have. They even have um a coupon of walnuts. Make sure y'all go out and y'all save your coin. Ooh. We have candy coupons that doesn't expire until March 24th. But I think these are on sale this week at Riot. And then they have these. And these are actually really tasty. They have some Huggies coupons. They have some Scott tissue. Yeah, so they have cheese, sort of gentle cheese. So this is a good week for you to go out and get your coupons to save your coin. And then the coupons come out every single Sunday. So if you want to do dumpster diving and you want to go back to the store the next day and ask if they have any more, and then, you know, they just, they just might. But they usually, I mean, I've done, I've done that before as well. 
when I, lived, when I lived in New York, I used to come to the corner store and just get all their inserts. This coupon right here for this hell of a good dipping stuff, this hell of a good is so freaking good. Yeah, so that's about it. And then we have like a Dollar General ad. Yeah, so make sure y'all go out and save your coin. So, let me show you all what I got. Oh my gosh, I'm so thirsty. So y'all notice that when you're thirsty, water quenches your thirst like no other. Or is it just me? When I watch mukbangs and they're drinking soda, like with spicy stuff, I'm like, how? Okay, so I bought some onions and green peppers. It's called the pepper stir fry. Because I'm going to throw some chicken in the pot. And your girl is going to throw this right up in there. Noah has been asking me to get them some pickles. So, I'm going to get some pickles. And do y'all remember that I told y'all that I wanted to do a DIY project with my sandals to add flowers? The other flowers were way too big. Like the roses and stuff. So, I purple is my favorite color, but I feel like the yellow flower would like break up the... Excuse me, here I go with the yarn and I'm sorry. I feel like the purple, I mean the yellow will break up the monotony and for, for, for it being so colorful. So I'm going to lay the flowers like so. I'll probably end up cutting this down. I see that? So I can lay flatter and I'll put these. I think this, these will look nicer than those big bulky roses. I bought some garlic powder because I love this stuff. I bought some Italian seasoning because I'm running out. I bought this. My mother always tells me, you just need to get a marker and color because my wood in some spots like where it got nicked is kind of like taken away. So I'm going to apply the darkest color to the wood and I'll see if it works. I purchased this charging dock for my phone. Yes. And I've got another charger for the car because I ended up taking it in the house. So I go out of my way and I get these expensive name brand chargers and they broke. So, so I'm like, you know what? Note to self, get your stuff from Dollar Tree. I purchased this math book. It's um, time test. It's addition and subtraction grades 1 through 2. I purchased this because Noah is on math right now. And he hates it. Like, he just hates math. And he just... he I, We um, went to a parent-teacher. Even though it's on the computer, me and my husband both met with the teacher. And his scores were excellent and everything else. But when it came to math, it wasn't that good. So... He's practice makes perfect, you know? And my thing is, just because you don't like 
I don't like math either. My husband, he's an engineer, so, okay. He's a math guy. I don't like math, but just because you don't like something, you still have to do it. Just because you don't like it, like, you're in school, you have to do math, you know, and... That it's just non-negotiable. Like even in life, you have to do math. Now he said he wants to be rich and he wants to be famous and he wants to be all these things. And we're trying to tell him like, if you don't like math and you don't want to learn how to count and divide and which and subtract your money, how are you gonna be able to make money if you don't want to learn math? Even if you don't like it, you still have to do it. Like that's my thing. And his take on it is like, I'm not going to do it, or I'm going to take all day, or I'm going to. And the thing is, like, he knows it. He just doesn't like it, but you can still do it. So that's just a homeschool brand. I bought these um, warheads for my daughter because she was behaving when we went out today. So these are the sour worms. And she watches YouTube. She watches Ryan's Toy Bill. And she's like, I have to get this candy, Mommy, because Ryan had this candy on his channel. So Ryan's Toy Bill had this candy. The airheads. So he wants the airheads. So yeah! I started teaching with VIP Kid. Yay! Yay! Go me, go me, go me. So, I put in my bachelor's degree to use, you know? So, um, I got hired for, from them, but I, weren't, I wasn't getting booked. But that was fine with me. So, because you have to, I'm doing it in Beijing time. I'm working from home, doing it in a company in my own home, and it's Beijing time, so it's 11 hours ahead of us, so the um, time difference is, like, they're like, it's 10, 13 a.m. here, it'll be 10, 13 p.m. there. I think that's how it works. They're 11, hour ahead, uh, 11 hours ahead of us. So, at first when I get hired, I got hired in December, like the end of December, so, at first, when I got hired, I put my schedule real cute, like, um, oh, okay, I want to work this out, I want to work that out. No. You cannot do that. You have to open up your schedule to every slot. And that will maximize your chances of being booked by a parent. Because the parent sees your profile picture, the parent sees your bio. The parents use your little intro video and then they choose whether they want to work with you. So after I opened up my slots, that's when I got booked. So, yay! So it's really um, interesting working for them for the simple fact that you're teaching children English. These children are from China and they don't know any English. So it's just like your tea like they don't know what you're saying you know you have to teach them english so that's really interesting so um for my reward system when they do a good job and they practice a word correctly and vip kid we have to give them a reward so i've been getting the students that i've have been receiving have been boys and I haven't had any really boy rewards. Like, I had bows for girls and sparkly this and sparkly that. I guess it's a little biased on my part. So, I just bought some cars. I figure boys like cars. So, when they do a good job, they'll get a car. And I also... Want to decorate... the little background classroom that I have. So I bought these. So is that it? So I have my inserts. Oh, this bag right here. 
I just bought some more stir fry and then I bought some fries because I have nuggets and stuff like that. So just bought some fries to go along with it. So that concludes my, it's not even that hot. Like I didn't even have to button up my coat. I don't even think I did. Like I just have this neck thing on. So I'm backwards. Yeah, I just have this neck thing on, and then I um, have my sweatsuit, and then I left my coat open, and the weather was kind of nice. Oh, before I go, I wanted to talk about this Monique wanting us to boycott Netflix thing. What do y'all think about that? Because. Netflix in, Netflix has entered a statement into the world saying that they offered Monique three million dollars at first and she turned it down. So, you know, this is, I just hate the fact that we just are so quick to jump on the bandwagon. Because when my sister came over and she's like, I'm boycotting Netflix. I'm not watching them because they're racist. I'm like, how are they racist when they're giving Chris Rock money and they're giving Kevin Hart money and they're giving Dave Chappelle money? How are they racist? Like, aren't they black too? And then this is my thing too. It is my pet peeve when someone else clocks your money. You know what I mean? Like, oh, this person is getting paid this. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about my money, you know? And in this day and age where um, women, we are, we are the bread win win winners. And we are, you know, contributing to the household financially. Booboo, you do not have the wherewithal to turn down money and be comparing it. Like, a real boss chick will take the money and flip the money. Take the money, invest the money. Take the money and do something bigger and better with it. You know? Like, that just really got to me. When the first, it's like, I'm standing with me to boycott Netflix. I was like, there's more to this story. Like, there is more to the story. So... I'm just saying that to say, do your research, family. Do not go out there and just jump on the bandwagon. Don't be a follower. You go, we have a mind, you know? Go and use your mind. Does that make sense to you or why? Or there's two sides to every story. So make sure you hear the other side. Don't just, you know, make your choice on one person's side. Because that would be wrong. Okay. That concludes my little rant. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.